So here we are in the alliance room, and you might say that this is a, a, a reflection of where this congregation began, because all of you students of uh, the history of the Unitarian Universalist congregation at Montclair know that it was begun by a group of women uh, who formed under the name of the Women's Alliance and uh, started uh, the religious education program that then became uh, this congregation a few years later. And, and this is the Alliance Room, uh, when our alliance went out of existence a few years back, they took the remaining money that they had and, and bought this beautiful furniture, not for themselves, because they were no longer going to be here, but for, for those who were going to come after them. And um, uh, up until that time of their disbandment, um, or the, their disbanding, uh, the, the Women's Alliance was, as a group, responsible for the largest contributions to the congregation of any group through the thrift store that they ran downstairs over in the annex for many decades. Um, you see the, the portraits of Edgar Weirs and Norman Fletcher, a uh, portrait of myself by Paul Weingarten. David Lewis is currently working on a, a portrait that will remain when I have left. Um, I, I want to draw your attention over here, though, because this is a group of, of women that when I think of the Women's Alliance, um, these are many of the women that I think of. And so many of these women have died since, since I've been here. Um, you know, we still, have, we still have some of them left, I'm so pleased to say. Um, Pauline Davis is still with us. Jean Nowak is still with us. Phyllis Workinger is still with us. And Elsa New is still with us. And, and everyone else who's pictured here is gone. This is a picture of, here of, of Ellen Studdiford and Emily Kennedy. Uh, Elephant Studdiford was the first woman president of our congregation. Emily Kennedy was a president of the congregation some years later than that, and they were, they were very close friends. They lived just a couple of blocks from each other, both of them having died in their homes some years ago. A uh, picture of Nancy Knurzer who was uh, second generation born in this congregation, uh, died in 2008. Um, she was the president when I came. And uh, I don't know that we're going to be able to go downstairs and look in that space because of the preschool that's down there right now. But uh, Nancy Knurzer grew up as this congregation was growing up. She died at the age of, of 83 in 2008. Uh, and she tells lots of stories, some that would make a minister's hair curl about things that the youth group did. But uh, she talks about how in 1955, uh, the, the building was sitting on the ground and the congregation elected to excavate in order to have a basement for Sunday school classes. And how for a year, um, they all had great fun when the when the construction crew wasn't here going around and crawling around <laughs> in the basement under the, the jacks and the pylons and things that were holding the building up. And now, you know, all these decades later, we have that wonderful religious education space that's used during the week um, as a preschool area which is a, a, a good rental for us, but also an excellent service for the, for the larger community.